Welcome back to the month of Paradox with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we are going to be looking at Moore's Paradox. This is a paradox named for G.E. Moore. So, imagine that Moore utters the following statement. I went to the pictures last night, but I don't believe it. The question for you is, what is odd about this statement? Or, what makes this statement in some way strange? And you have to explain how we can be understanding it as either P and it's not the case that I believe that P, or P and I believe that it's not the case that P. Let's take a look. Generally, if someone contradicts themselves, they've uttered a contradiction. But here it's not the case. Here it seems that Moore has contradicted himself, but he hasn't uttered a contradiction. And we can't just say that the statement is meaningless, because we can put the statement in different contexts and the strangeness of the oddity goes away. If we replace the indexical I with the co-referring term G.E. Moore, we seem to resolve the problem. G.E. Moore went to the pictures last night, but he doesn't believe it. We can also put the statement in the past tense and resolve the problem. I went to the pictures last night, but I didn't believe it. Or even embedding it into a conditional seems to resolve the problem and make it go away. If the building on the corner is a cinema, then I went to the pictures last night, but I don't believe it. The point is that the problem is we lack the logical framework to show that this is a contradiction, even though we would say that it's contradictory in some way. And we can't claim that it's meaningless, as it works in other contexts, and it seems to be a meaningful statement and a meaningful way to describe the world. Yet it also seems contradictory to us. Basically, it's a problem for how we understand this as a statement. Question for you is, is this paradox vertical, falsitical, or antinomious? Watch a new paradox every single day this month here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.